Because this wasn't, we wasn't on TV. So before um, it was the Malice in the Palace, <laughs> it was Golden State versus uh, Blazers. <laughs> <laughs> His shot. <laughs> you were telling me about that. Yeah, the shit, is, <laughs> the Rasheed shot. <laughs> Turn around, jumper that started a whole melee. Oh, and God. Opened. <laughs> I remember that to this day. <laughs> Hilarious. See, what do you remember from, from that moment? Oh, we was going back and forth with him. So it came down to the last possession. Um, they called my number, turn four. And turn four. So I had to rock. And, and I, I know y'all remember, because y'all was in the league at this time, too. I can't remember the brother's name, but they sat right there across from the Warriors bench. Yes. Like the last maybe four or five seats. Yes, Art, right? yes, yes, so yes, I'm, yes. I'm going back and forth with them all night. Uh, turn four, they called my number. As soon as I turn, hit the shot, that's when uh, Bonzi and uh, Chris Mills got into it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they started, you know, shoving and pushing and grabbing and tugging each other's jerseys and all that. Mm -hmm. And it was like baseball. Yeah. Benches cleared. <laughs> like, yo, it was, it was hilarious. You know, we had fans throwing shit at us and all this <laughs> yeah. shit. And, like, man, this, this one fan did clock me, though. He, he threw, like, a drink at me. And uh, that shit was like... Uh, I, f I felt like Arsenio in, in Coming to America when old dude threw the shake on him. Mm -hmm. I mean, Eddie. Yeah. When old dude threw the shake on him, he was like, ugh. This. <laughs> That's how dude drink hit me. And oh, I tried to go up in the stands and everything. I had cats <laughs> tugging at my waist. And, yeah, man. I had people in the stands. They was fighting the people. Up. Oh, hey, look. Yeah, that was that was that was the malice before the malice. malice right that there, was, that's what I said. It was that one was wild. And 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 so no, this one made it wild for real. You get to sit because you on the bus. On the bus. Okay, yeah. So I, you know everybody. You know I was there. Tell it. I heard. So team security. Me. I mean, on both sides and and um, the arena security, they made sure everything was cool. All right, bet. So you know we go in and after the game had a coach meeting, this and that, blah blah blah. So we. You know, uh, shower up and do the media, this and that. Boom, bang, go out and, you know, you speak to your family, friends that came to the game, this and that. So as we getting on the bus, it's like, all right, we the last couple last dudes on. So y'all know how it was at that time when you leave in the arena on a visitor's locker room, you only got about 50 paces to you outside at the bus. Mm -hmm. So we all on there and we pulling out. And as, as they slide the gate back, mm -hmm. the security slide the gate back to let the buses go, man, before we left the lot, it was like two, three cars that pulled in front of us that didn't move. And old boy hopped out, was like, yeah, talk all that shit now, what the fuck y'all want, this and that, da 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 And we like, and, and team security like, yeah, don't y'all get off the bus. <laughs> <They're not. laughs> you know, don't y'all do nothing, this and that. He's like, yeah, you know. So man, it, it was crazy how that whole thing went down, but mm -hmm. it was it was resolved <laughs> by a couple of phone calls yeah. because you know at that time Chris was supposed mm -hmm. to have been you know mm -hmm. this and that, mm -hmm. and so we made some calls. I'm not I ain't gonna put people. Oh no, you know we know uh, yeah. those that no no trust. So you know made a couple calls to some OGs. Mm -hmm. Yo, man, get this nigga from the fuck up out of here, man. You know, we trying to go ahead. This this going to be a whole thing now because it's federal. You talking about dealing with a yeah. billion-dollar business, the NBA. Yeah, like, like, thought, man, get this motherfucker out of here. And a couple calls was made, this and that, and that shit got squashed. Like, yeah, it got squashed for y'all, not me. It, it got I got my for ass us. whooped the whole year. From that one moment? Yeah, because I wouldn't let it go. I wouldn't let it, oh, you talking oh, you to me like this, but you ain't said it to Bonzi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I, you talking about ass whooping, boy. I, hey, listen, he didn't touch y'all, no, but I got, look, whatever he was trying to get a Bonzi, <laughs> he gave that shit to me. <laughs> so we got some video of, of that, that game so for, for the audience out there so they can. Oh, for y'all do? Look, this used to be HD back in those days. Buckets. Oh, oh, I was going to say, that ain't the play. <laughs> this is my yeah. Oh, God damn it. And look. <laughs> 
Chris and Bonzi. <laughs> he had him already. Chris had Bonzi already. <laughs> Bonzi <laughs> like, hold up. I can't let him jump on my young boy. Who holding Anto- Rube back? Antonio yeah, that's, Daniels, Daniels holding Rube back. The block it, they did. <laughs> no, no, no. I had to, I had to hey. tear. Yeah. Hey, hey, look. <laughs> hey, look. Yeah. He was crazy. Lucky they held, held the man child back. Yeah. No, no. Antonio Davis, lucky he no, no. held that. What's team. so funny is I, because I see, like, oh shit. <laughs> Crazy. Rude, rude, so man. I had to pick up the chair, like, come on, we got the same agent, bro. We got the same agent. Hey. So we got yeah. the same agent. We got the same agent, bro. You can't fight. No, Rube got that different strength. No, no, no. He beeline right. It's like it was like the first person he seen with a white uniform. He was like, and I was like, it was Jason Richardson. No, we got the same agent. Yo, Rube, Rube Patterson. That's my guy. He one of them cats. I want him on my team. Yeah. yeah. If, if it come down to a scuffle, a street fight, what? A, I want him on my team. What's up, everyone? It's Tyler. If you use promo code SHEED, new customers can pair picks with NBA players that have higher than one point. All they have to do is score one point to win. This is the easiest way to make money on underdogs, so make sure you sign up with code SHEED to take advantage and win some money.